Alright, gonna give this gonna give this a shot arena here. Hmm. Let's see. Would be nice. Okay. There is one affix that I've noticed has been wrecking me recently. Let's see, do any of these guys have it? Nope. Oh, 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 oh getting spicy. Oh, molten explosion. Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad. This is also, I got my Paragon all switched up to the way I needed it to, so we're going to see here, oh, get out of that, there is, I think it's Frozen, I don't know why, but Frozen does a ton of damage to me, could not tell you why, okay, ooh, Sweet. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, animus carriers. Okay, it's this one right here. Let's see if I can. Okay, well I killed him fast enough this time, so that's sweet. Channeling shrine. Okay, sweet. Not cursed. Oop. There we go. Keep up the DPS. Alright, not bad. Yeesh, stay away. Okay, oh. Not bad, not bad at all. Okay, come here. Oh, 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 yeah, it's this one. It's this frozen is so rough. Oof. Ooh. Gotta get out of there, dude. Okay, here. Maybe the ravens will finish it off. Come on, get them wolves! Get them wolves! Yes! <laughs> there it is. Oh, oops. And then I walk into poison and almost die. Hold on. We're gonna wait for that poison to go away. And yes! Alright, first part of the dungeon. Smoked a renoed. Not too bad. Whew! Yeah, I got my Paragon redone over to what I was saying in the video. And that's been helping out a ton. Just testing out a bunch of stuff, so I switched from it, and oh my god, do I, do I regret that decision. Okay. Dude, Stormbane's Wrath is actually so annoying. <laughs> like, low-key. It is actually super annoying. Who knew? Oop. Oh, get me out of here. Ugh. Come on. Keep on keeping on here. Oh, come on. Get out of there. And that, nice, nice. All right, all right, cool, <laughs> dude. I'll tell you what, though, Storm's Companion potion drop rate. Oh baby, oh baby. Tell me it's not the best thing ever. Oof, there it is. All right, and through the intermission. Let's keep on going. And like I said before in the videos, like you can see that it's like I'm able to like get through the 68, but it's like it's not, it's not like it's you know smooth sailing or something like what doing a 50 is. So it's like you can do, you can do higher up ones, but definitely not, uh, definitely not the easiest. See the resets, and you guys can see all the resets I'm getting too. It's Crone Staff broken. Okay, so I gotta free the prisoners. I mean, really, I 
I feel like I have a pretty good shot at completing this. We'll see though if I don't if I run into a bad set of affixes. Okay. Looks like that that tune might change, but come on. What the <laughs> uh like poisoned or something. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Oh, this is gonna be hairy. Okay, get rid of that first. Okay. And there it is. Okay, not too shabby. The key thing too is like, I, you almost gotta like keep playing aggressive with this build because like everything you do, your defense, your everything is like, <laughs> You know, almost see it's like reliant that you just keep attacking. You keep attacking with crone staff. You keep attacking. It's like go 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 go. Okay, I just gotta get out of there. It should explode maybe. Oh man. Okay, maybe not. Get them wolves. <laughs> wolves will finish them off. It's cool. All right, hold on. Let me. I need to get this storm bane's thing out of there, so I don't. I don't want to have to. Okay. Nice. Okay. Okay. Five more prisoners. And then I gotta kill the alpha. Uh, yeah. That's the other thing too, is you know, obviously your defense goes up the more you attack, because you have things like... Because I run things like disobedience and stuff like that, so it's like... You almost like... There's almost like a curve you have to get over. You have to have like enough damage reduction to not get one shot so you can build up your defenses, you know? Okay. Okay. Oh. Is there a fucking damage reduction thing here? Oh, it's dead. Cool. Alright. Because you can see, like, I'm blowing up the elites, but... Oh. Okay. Go away. Pick up this stuff. Get them wolfies. All right, get them wolves. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. Later the rest. Two. All right, we got three more. It's gonna suck too if you run into a butcher. <laughs> I do not think I will be able to take on a butcher. Yes, help you beg me. Oh, I'm coming to help you, don't you worry. I am coming. I am here for you. I made this for you. Ooh. Okay, we're good. Wait, I want this potion. Greet. Oh, no. <laughs> Imagine if I just walked back and got hit. <laughs> and just got hit just for going back for that potion. That would be really funny. Okay, okay. Kill all this stuff. Ooh, get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh, 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 jeez. Well, I totally just whiffed my, my ravens. That's cool. Ooh, get out of there. Get out of there. All right. Yeah, and I, I don't know what it is, but I will say this. When it comes to this dungeon, I've... Sometimes I come into this dungeon when I try to do a 60. That very first elite, it's always a revenant. Right, and for some reason, when it has frozen, it just destroys me. I don't know what it is about that affix, but okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's finish this out strong. Go ahead. Okay. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> there it is. Dead Man's Dredge, tier 68. Fun, fun stuff. Real fun stuff. Uh, just to give you guys a little look-see here. Oh my gosh, wait. Oh. <laughs> and did I mention I was trying out the Earthen Might with the Storm Skill thing in there too, so... Hey, look at that. It works out alright. Yeah, so I have a... Uh, I put on the Mighty Storm Band, Earthen Might Key Passive. 
it applies to your storm skills. So if you noticed, um, I should have pointed it out, my bad. My wolves are actually critting quite a bit more. So when you take that and then you take like the attack speed, hold on, you take the attack speed one, they actually crit and do a decent amount of DPS. That's why like when I was kind of walking away and whenever I was kind of like walking away, they were able to finish stuff off is because if I do end up proccing that, it's actually pretty good. Like, I'm a, you know, it's something I've been messing around with. I got a, I got a suggestion in the comments to try it out. And I'm actually, the more I do it, the more I kind of like it. Um, the Ursine strength isn't bad. I think it's pretty good. However, the damage is dependent on you being healthy. Whereas this, you proc this a lot. So if you go back and watch the video, I'm sure you'll see, uh, you'll see, uh, me proc it a decent amount. But anyway, so gear wise, this is what we're looking like. Um, I I miss I don't have on my triple my triple companion helmet, so my ravens could be doing more damage. I'm also not getting uh, any value out of the damage reduction while fortified, so I could push a little bit higher with this build if I just fixed my chest piece, which I do have one. But oh my god, I am having the absolute worst luck. I am legit. I think I'm 60 million into my chest piece. So like at this point, it's like I'm just looking for another quad damage reductions one, and I haven't found it because I need specifically I need like percent total armor damage reduction close and poisoned. I think is what I want, but. Uh, I think once I get that, that's going to help out a lot because you can see out here I have like intelligence on it and then I don't really do a whole lot of fortify anymore so that I'm not getting any value out of that. Um, Edge Masters, yep, this is good. Um, Storm's Companion, I don't know if you guys notice like the potion drop rate and stuff, but I'm telling you, like the Storm's Companion, that's the one defensive thing it does have is it makes potions drop like mad. Now granted, it's not really worth losing the quad damage reductions, you know, in terms of just that. Like you, you need it for the you know the functionality of it but yeah great staff of the crone uh you know barber i got double damage reductions companion skills ranks called the wild i do need to i do need to roll this over as well i know you uh it's like i, I do need to roll this over as well but um that's okay Voln crit max life crit chance and then i have critical strike critical strike damage like you hit chance werewolf skills um i was using a critical strike chance critical strike damage potion also i was also using avian wrath so if you notice that my damage seemed like it was a little bit higher in previous videos that was a mix of things i was stacking more critical strike damage and stuff like that to try to make make it try to dealt more damage uh, because with this new setup with um that i that i posted in the uh, the updated zoo companion druid i have like fifteen thousand life so it's like i have a lot of life so like having 14% more isn't as big of a deal because it's like I, I have a decent amount, you know, because a lot of my Paragon, if we look at my Paragon, right, like max life, um, hold on, there's like a lot of it. I think that's one of the main ways I get defense, actually. Hold on, max life, max life. Um, come over here, max life again. Oh, man, I'm really sad I don't have that. I don't have enough decks for that, but that's okay. Uh, crit, Voln, yada yada. Yeah, but anyways, you can see I have like a decent amount of max life stuff here, and I even have some armor stuff here as well. Wait a second, it's not right. I should have... What did I put a point into? Alright, I don't have to go look at it. Oh, maybe I put the point here. That's right, I made the point from there to there, but yeah. have some armor, stuff like that. <clears throat> um, but yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe if you want to see more, and uh, I'll see you next time. And I'll have a link to the updated Zoo Companion Druid build guide uh, in the description below. It is running Ursine Strength, but if you would like to do it the way that I am doing it currently, just swap out the Mighty Storms Band for this. This is just something I'm testing. It seems, honestly, they both seem very similar in power, if I'm uh, being completely honest. I think Earther might, if there's any more buffs and stuff, and I'm going to keep testing it, might end up getting an edge eventually, but we'll see. Thanks for watching.